Okay, first, before I, I get into the actual topic that I'm going to talk about, let me just go ahead and warn y'all. If you plan on moving anywhere into the Atlanta area or west of Atlanta, do not, do not, do not move to Six Flags Drive, alright? I'm so pissed with these apartments, I don't even know what to do right now, but thankfully this is like the last month, my lease is up, and then I can go ahead and go. And see, the problem is, you know, I don't even want to move. I like, I like, I like the inside of my apartment, okay? This is mine. Everything you see in here, like the plants hanging up, the little gold thing over there, that's mine. I have a nice apartment. I don't live in, like, crappy conditions. But if they ain't handling their business on the outside of the apartment, it makes it hard for me. So, you know what, I'm just going ahead and, you know, get the hell on. But, you know, they can handle, you know, towing people's cars when they tag is like a month fucking behind. You know, oh, you know, that got down to control. But, you know, maintenance. Uh, well, maintenance, you know, we can't handle that. But, you know, well, well it's damn sure tow your car. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get in what I'm going to talk about. We're going to move from the home life. On to the work life, and basically, this is just going to be talking about general general information that we all know. Bullshit in the workplace. Disclaimer: When I talk about this stuff, I'm not going in on anybody, their job, their position, whatever. Okay, so saying that this is not directed towards you. Or me. Because at the end of the day, we all need a job. First of all, why is it that the lazy people on your job never get calls for it? You got people who sit there and, you know, 45 minutes before it's time to go, a whole 45 minutes, they sit down, sitting on their behinds, talking. While you got other people sitting there busting their ass two minutes before it's time to clock out. But you know, I mean, don't nobody see it, don't nobody want to see it, you know, including managers, supervisors, whoever's in charge. They go right past them and act like they don't see it. But let the same people who busting their ass two minutes before it's time to clock out sit their ass 45 minutes before it's time to go. Oh, the whole fucking world got a problem with that shit second why is it that when you work with a, a majority of black people on your job shift or whatever why is it that they always want to cause a problem and it's not they just it's like they're doing it for entertainment purposes which most of them are these are the ones these ones you gotta watch out for. The ones that spread gossip. The ones who are always talking about somebody else. Especially the ones who, you know, sitting there in front of your face talking about. And when I say this, I don't, I'm only using this for this video purpose only. I don't have a problem with white people. None of that. Alright. But you gotta watch out for the ones that be all up in your face. Watch out for them honkies, you know. Them crackers, they'll get you every time. Because, you know, they don't like all this. Nah, they don't like that chocolate, you know. And then... It's the chocolate that's niching on your ass. I don't understand that. Think about it. If you work in a predominantly black environment with, you know, you still have white people, you rarely have a problem with the white people. It's the people of your own color that you got to watch out for. Because especially the ones that sitting there try, talking about they trying to warn you and protect you and keep you safe and make sure you don't get into this and that. And they the ones going, telling on you. And you know it. It's not even for the greater good of the company. Because you know what? If a white person tells on you, they are doing it for the greater good of the company. They're doing it. They help the company or, you know, and, you know, like that. But, you know, it's still snitching. But... Where a black person does it, they ain't telling. They ain't helping the company. Matter of fact, because when they tell, they don't. They tell the managers, the under managers, the assistants, the other coworkers, people who ain't got no goddamn business knowing. 
You know, so working with it's crazy. It's crazy. Now, regardless, I do know the fact that you do have to watch out for other people of other races too. Okay? Because some of them take their job very seriously. And so they want to know if you're messing up so they can go 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 get it handled. I would love to just be in business for myself. So these general problems that I'm just, you know, bringing up out of the air don't have to happen. And it's not that these problems happen every day in workplaces, but we all know that it happens. And I'm pretty sure whoever's like a few of the people that's listening to this, they know what I'm talking about. Because either you're the snitcher or the snitchy. Third, I hate, hate, hate supervisors that don't know how to supervise. You know what I'm saying? That goes back to part one where, you know, they let lazy people get away with stuff, but then they want to ride other people's asses. Because stuff ain't getting done, you know. But you know, it's not the team's fault. You know, oh no, we're gonna let the we're gonna let the people who the under people that just sit on their behinds, you know, because we're not expecting anything more from them. But the people who go up and above, we expect you to do this. I hate that. I hate that. And it, it is it's happening. It's true. It, I mean. Some people need to go on, go ahead and reevaluate your management style. Think about how you affecting the people that you work with, all of that. But you know what? At the end of the day, most of these places that are like that, they're just pit stops. They're just places for you to get a paycheck. You know, then when it's time for you to move on, go on, move on up. Is you do that. And you leave these people behind. But you know what? Until then, I guess we just gonna have to deal with it, you know? Deal with the the bull, the fuckery, all that. But whatever you do, let me go ahead and put it out put it out there. Whatever you do, do not go postal, come out, you're gonna shoot places and shoot up the place and all this kind of all this kind of stuff it, it, it don't go over well all right just putting it out there anyway y'all uh do i have anything else to put out uh no um well you know uh i want to consent i want to send my condolences to the victims of the tornadoes that have been going around and we've been having like major tornadoes in the united states it's, it's like devastating so my condolences go out to them. Um, I don't really have anything that's going down downtown uh, or in the Atlanta area. Oh, uh, except for Screen on the Green, which is is held in Piedmont Park. It is when the city of Atlanta shows movies that you and your family can come out. You know, you can go ahead, get you like a little blanket. You know, bring some food, sit out there, watch the movies. You know, it's kind of like dust and so you know it's kind of like cooler down you know temperature ain't all hot as hell I don't even know where I got the word cooler down from but um yeah that's uh that's happening actually it's happening tonight so uh I won't be there because I have to work but uh if you get a chance you know go online check it out uh see if any other dates are coming up which I mean they do it all summer so I'll go ahead and try to get the date for y'all so y'all can come out and get the movies that's coming out uh, that they're doing. The movie they're doing tonight is Back to the Future. I mean, I know it's an abomination or abortion, whatever you want to call it. But, I mean, it's just a nice time for you to spend with somebody, your family, your loved one. And just come out and just have a nice time downtown in the park. And Piedmont Park is a really, really nice park.
part it's huge you know it's uh it's just great so go ahead and check it out I'm going to try to uh, my best to get up uh bring you places around Atlanta um actually filming them and so bringing them to you so you know that's going to be popping off very soon but other than that uh I don't have anything else to put out uh so you know news is going kind of slow right now especially in like blogs and all this kind of stuff it's not really nothing that you can really just go into or go on but anyway until next time y'all this is your boy BZ I am out hit me up on Facebook all of that I don't Twitter so if you do hit me up on Twitter I won't know until I check it like three months later alright peace